Eclipse glass is ready, Josh. A total solar eclipse is set to happen on Monday. If you have the wrong ones and you look at the partial eclipse, you could get eye damage or even go blind. Dr. Ray Wallace with American Family Care is live with us to share how to properly look at the eclipse. So what happens if I'm looking at the eclipse for a long time? Well, basically, uh, the damage that can be done is caused by UV radiation. Um, that's present all around us every day. Mm -hmm. But I think in terms of the concerns for Monday is that so many people will be out and looking intentionally directly at the sun. Mm -hmm and just checking throughout the day. It's really gonna happen at 118, but your concern is that people just keep looking at it? Well, that would be it in terms of prolonged contact. Um, you know, we're surrounded by UV radiation every day. Um, people go to the beach, they spend time on the water, uh, time outdoors. Um, but in this case, uh, looking directly at the sun has several thousand times more UV intensity. So special glasses will be needed in order to look. So what is photokeratitis? <laughs> Keratitis? Photokeratitis. Right, it's going to be the, the uh, cornea, which is the clear portion over your eye, um, is very sensitive to ultraviolet light, especially prolonged contact. So um, what happens is that uh, in that circumstance, similar to your skin, if you were to get a sunburn, you it's might like get a blister. small little blistering and it, uh, kind of a grainy or a, a sandpapery feeling to your eyes. They may uh, be intensely dull ache. Um, and uh, light sensitive. So what do I need to do to make sure that I have the right glasses? Well, probably buy them from a reliable distributor. Um, I was out to uh, two major distributors yesterday uh, and they had completely sold out. So you may be out of luck if you haven't purchased your glasses and by now. And if, if they're not the right ones, uh, how do I know that? How do I know if they're, they're not good? They'll be certified. There should be some special marking on the side. Um, with regards to use of uh, sunglasses or dark films, um, those really aren't going to offer you the same kind of protection that'll be necessary. And when I look through the solar eclipse glasses, I should only be able to see the sun. I shouldn't be able to see anything else, That's right? That's correct. That'll be kind of like your test um, that uh, your glasses are appropriate. Um, again, sunglasses, dark films, um, even the welder, welder's visors aren't uh, going, going to ahead. offer you the protection that you're going to need. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate your Thank time. Thank you very much. Just to protect everybody's eyes. That's what you're warning people about. I appreciate you. Thank Dr. You. Wallace with American Family Care. Still ahead on Live at Daybreak, we'll take one last look at the top stories we're following for you this morning. Plus, meteorologist Josh Worcester is back with a final check of your forecast before you head out the door this Saturday morning.